Welcome back to the Paranormal Roundup where I give you the hot stories surrounding the paranormal community over the past few weeks. And we have got a crammed episode today. The paranormal royalty touching down in the UK. Two huge paranormal channels completely leaving the platform of YouTube and top five's channels stealing each other's content. So hopping straight into the first story, over the weekend just gone, Sam and Colby, one of the biggest paranormal investigating YouTubers on the entire platform, came over to the UK to do some exciting filming. Tweeting out that they were going to be coming over to the UK a few weeks ago, it got the paranormal community so hyped. And it's very, very fair to see why, because the things that they got up to and the people that they investigated with was elite. So they went to the ancient ram in with Tommy in it. Okay. It comes and we'll be back in as How big and you'll be come. Yep. All right. All right. You're okay, aren't you, Uncle Nasty? This is getting strange. He's just my happy little boy that sits behind me and I chat to him. Wow, all the lights are on. Uncle Nasty, you're not haunted, are you? Yeah, he screamed. He just screamed. I know, he's probably terrified. Are you afraid of that time? Ah! Big dogs! Big dogs! He just said, did you find that, Tommy? Hey, he just yeah, went, yeah, he yeah, just, yeah, he yeah, just yeah. went. Did you find that, Tommy? The Hellfire Caves with G Nelly and Nihachu. And are all the spirits here friendly tonight? Did you hear that? I heard no. I didn't like that. <laughs> you don't like that? All right. Do you know anyone's name that's here with me tonight? According to the Twitter page. Yes? Yes. So you heard yes. Newsome, so that's the radio. I've seen the and? The yeah, me too. Okay. Myth is myth on Twitter. And then hit up Chillingham Castle with none other than Daz Black. And also this chair which you tie people to. So I'm thinking we have someone in the chair and someone locked in here and um, maybe like two other people in another escape room. Yeah. Yeah. And see if we can, uh, we'll take the radios and see if we can like get something Definitely. in two different locations. Which is, uh, what was that? Yeah, I are they by the door? Hello? Can you radio up and ask where they are? Hi guys, can you just confirm where your location is right now, please? <laughs> well, I've got a feeling we're going to be seeing some very top tier videos from them anytime soon. But leading on from that incredibly exciting story, we do have to move on to some uh, darker news. On the 10th of February, Smug Puppy completely privated all of their YouTube videos, leaving one single video on their channel. A video titled Smug Puppy TikTok Videos is all that stands left on their channel of around 1.5 thousand subscribers. Hi guys, if you're wondering where our videos are gone off YouTube and Insta, that's because we're, we've decided to focus more on TikTok. Yeah, uh, with comments coming through on TikTok, we, we are answering them. Then we find we've got a load of comments on YouTube and Insta too, and we've got cameras recording. 12 hours each, that's 24 hours of footage to scrub through. Well, it's more cameras, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we just find it's too much to keep answering comments everywhere. So the debunkers haven't won. We've just made them private, basically. <laughs> no, no. <there's, laughs> it's not because of any debunkers. In fact, we haven't deleted the videos. No. We've just made them private, that's all. And so if you want to find the Smug Puppy videos, we keep uploading on TikTok. That's where you'll find them on our TikTok account. Yeah. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. In the video, they state that they're going to be moving away from YouTube and other social platforms to solely focus on TikTok. In the video, they state that they aren't doing this for any other reason apart from the fact that they don't have time to edit their videos or reply to comments. So they would rather focus solely on TikTok. And with their videos on TikTok typically reaching in the millions of views mark, it's clear to see why they're dedicating all their time to that platform. But interestingly, they also outline that the debunkers have not won, and that is not the reason that they're leaving YouTube. So yeah, if you want to see any Smug Puppy content, head over to TikTok. And from one creator who may have left the platform but is still creating content, to another creator who has left the platform and content creation entirely. The paranormal community took a massive hit on the 9th of December 2022 when Shadow Man, one of the biggest top five creators on the entire platform, took to Twitter to say, algorithms have spoken. This is almost certainly the end of this channel, Shadow Man. I just wanted to quickly say a big thank you to everyone who ever watched, liked and subscribed. I wish everyone in the niche, big and small, all the best for the coming months or years. And with such huge news completely rocking the paranormal community, huge creators like Casperside reached out in the hopes that they would be able to help by creating content around their platform to try and boost them on YouTube's algorithms. And even though Casperside made a reaction video shouting out his channel, channel, right? A freaky deaky channel called Shadow Man. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, 
I do the thing. It wasn't enough, as later that day, Shadow Man took back to Twitter to say goodbye. And to this day, his channel just lay dormant, serving as a sad reminder of what was and what could have been. And things go from crazy to even worse in our next story, as there are two top five channels at each other's throats over some stolen content. Watching top five channels are what everyone loves doing to pass time. You get the best out of the community, and there is so much differentiation between the vast amounts of compilation channels out there. But what happens when there isn't? And a channel decides to not only use some of the videos from another, but completely steal their content. It's a crazy thought, right? But this is exactly what happened to Mind Junkie when they were sat watching a Casper Sight reaction video by Lord Darkness and see their footage on Lord Darkness's video. Mind Junkie then took to Twitter where he'd explain the story calling out Lord Darkness and letting Casper Sight know what had happened. On a tweet made on the 17th of February, Mind Junkie says, So I watched the latest Casper Sight reaction vid today and noticed something familiar. Check the images below. Tagging in Lord Darkness. I'd appreciate it if you didn't just straight up rip my compilations without asking permission first. It's just pure laziness put in the work. He then highlights the exact same things across both videos in two separate pictures. One being from his very own video, where he's got his own logo up in the top corner, the YouTube channel that he took the content from originally credited in the bottom corner, and the subtitles, then highlighting a snapshot from Lord Darkness's video of the exact same scene where he says, Lord Darkness just ripped my video completely. He's just blurred out my logo in the top corner, and look at the two images, same logo placement, same subtitle, and same source font. Heck, the guy didn't even replace the sound effects. Not cool. And this was showing that the video was completely ripped off by Mind Junkie, with very little differences made. Lord Darkness then hits back at Mind Junkie on Twitter, commenting, I don't think you or any other paranormal content creator really wants to get into straight up ripping from compilations. Twitter has a DM button next time you want to use Casper Sight's at for engagement, at least make it more obvious to your subs, my friend. Which then led to a heated response from Mind Junkie himself, saying, LMFAO, have some respect, mate. Put in the work, stop trying to cut corners by stealing. Blocked. This shows that Lord Darkness didn't like the fact that Mind Junkie took this issue so publicly and instead would have preferred it to have been dealt with behind closed doors. Casper Sight himself even saw this tweet and just responded with an emoji and oh. I know for a fact that this isn't the first time that content creators of the top five genre have taken each other's content completely ripping it off from another channel. But it doesn't make it right, nevertheless. So, those are the top stories surrounding the paranormal community at the moment. What do you guys think on these stories? Let me know down in the comments below. And have you got any stories that you want me to cover or look into? Let me know down in the comments as well. And until next time, we'll speak to you later. Peace.